Hello, everyone. This is Rick with the Cyber Pro Podcast. We're excited to bring on Chris. Chris, you are here, first timer for the Cyber Pro Podcast. You're going to share your insights, hopefully in less than nine minutes, because hackers never sleep. So let's get to it. Go ahead and kick us off. Tell us about your stuff. Why are you passionate about cyber? Who are you? What are you doing today? Yeah, so I, I love cyber. It's always changing. I think everybody in the field knows there's always something new every day. It's not a monotonous job where you go to work and you do the same thing over and over and over. You're always doing something new. I started at Help Desk and worked my way into security. So I've got that background. Um, but, you know, there's all everybody gets their own, own way in. Uh, I've got a, a day job and a, a business and trying to just continue to progress my career and my education while continuing to expand my knowledge. That's awesome. It's one of the fun parts of being in cybersecurity is there's never any limitation on what you can learn. Yeah, you can you can always learn something new. You can always do something different. You know, one day you could be analyzing an alert. The next day you could be doing a penetration test. Love it. That's a great segue then, Chris. Talk to me a little bit about what recent evolutions that you have noticed in our cybersecurity landscape. I mean, there's been a lot of attacks, a lot of like third-party vendor type of attacks. They're not going after small, you know, businesses. They're going after the MSPs for those businesses because that unlock a greater attack surface for them to have those passwords from an MSP to be able to access multiple clients rather than just going after a single organization. I love it. So talk to me a little bit about some cool emerging technologies or trends or approaches that that you're excited about or that you're bringing into your cyber world? I mean, there's there's a lot of uh, threat intelligence stuff out there now that we're trying to bring in and use to just give us a better overall view of everything that's going on. Um, it's not new and emerging, but I see a lot of people not doing it. It's the crawl, walk, run. Everybody chases the new shiny tool instead of just getting their basics down. And I think that's where a lot of people stumble and their security programs fall short. So talking about stumbling, what are some common misconceptions about cybersecurity that you encounter? And people think it's hard. And, you know, they're like, yeah, I can't do that. And <clears throat> the simplest thing is patch management, patch your computers, update your firmware, like basic stuff like that. It's not hard. Just getting in a cycle and putting policies in place, procedures, that's the hard part. But the actual work, it, it can be easy. Knowing that, you know, patch management is 101, multi-factor authentication might be 102, right? Like, no, let's be realistic about that. Um, yeah. What do you feel is a critical aspect of a robust cybersecurity strategy? I mean, everybody says the user is your weakest link, right? So just making everybody a advocate for cybersecurity, you know, don't... I've seen tons of user awareness programs where they get down on the people who fail, right? Instead of doing it that, what I've seen people, the programs succeed with is giving out a gift card to people that pass, really rewarding them for that. So everybody else is like, oh, okay. And they start paying more attention and things like that. So it really, you know, having user awareness is good, but again, getting back to the basics, don't go for the new shiny tool or the new acronym that's out there or that your MSP is trying to sell you. Start with the basics of, you know, your every day patching and, you know, seeing what's going on and watching, you know, your events and things like that in your, your environment. I love it. Chris, this has been great. Super fun, super succinct. We got a bunch of bonus content coming up as well for you. But final question, fun question for you. What's your favorite piece of retro technology that just makes you smile? I just think back to it. I mean, it's not, I'm, I'm not the oldest, so retro could be sick. But thinking back to, you know, the first time in eighth grade when I was at the Montreal Science Museum and seeing a guy take apart a computer, put the memory out and put it back in is really what got me hooked and got me into this field. So just the insides of a computer, you know, um, not necessarily laptops, but the old big, power-sized ones that 
bands that are really noisy and loud. So, like I said, it's not really like retro. I mean, it could be if, with everything being small form factor today, but that that really is what uh, what does it for me. That's awesome. I remember building a computer just so I could play Rainbow Six back in the day. So, <laughs> Chris, thank you so much for being on the Cyber Pro Podcast. Yeah, thanks. Thank you for tuning into the Cyber Pro Podcast. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on new podcasts and all of our cool bonus content.